Happy Wednesday, guys. This is Ryan House Tech from TechInform.us, and as the holidays approach, I've gotten actually a couple of requests in the past few days, week, two weeks, to do a video about iPods. People don't know what kind of iPod they want for Christmas, what kind of iPod to buy a family member or a friend for Christmas. So uh, I'm going to go through my take on each of the new iPods that have been released in the past few months here. Now is actually a really great time to buy an iPod, as you would hope, before Christmas. Apple just beefed up their line. Um, they didn't touch the classic, but everything else got um, upgraded, redone to a new generation, usually better. Um, some would disagree. But anyways, um, the lineup has changed in the past few months. Actually, September 1st, they changed all this. So if you're uh, thinking of buying one for Christmas, now is a good time. You don't have to worry about a new model coming out in the next few days. Anyhow, um, the basic model that Apple office, Apple offers here is the iPod Shuffle. It's pretty small. It is actually really small. I've used one of these. It's quite small. It's really easy to use. It doesn't have a display that's going to keep the cost and battery usage down and you can't break it. Um, and it's a very basic device, I will say that. This is really for somebody who's always out on the track running. They just want to be able to clip it onto themselves. It has a clip so you can clip it on your shirt, your uh, running shorts or whatever you clip it onto. And your headphones, um, the headphones it comes with, you can change, um, change the song and the volume and voiceover so you can tell it to play a certain album. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of different colors here and it's only $50 so it's really affordable but uh, it's also really basic. Moving up from there is the iPod Nano. Still basic. A lot of people, it's really a love-hate thing. You either love the new Nano or you hate it. Well, I don't really know where I stand. I don't want to say either because they're both pretty strong. But it is about the same size as the Shuffle. It's really, really small. It's a really small 2-inch, I think it's 2-inch display here. Um, Multi-touch, so it's all touch-based, kind of like iOS. Um, and then you can get 8 gig or 16 gig. About the size, if you don't know, just ask the person. You know, I, I don't know the person either, so don't ask me. Um, but, you know, these products are great too. Lots of, lots of uh, different colors. You can get them in two sizes, and they're still relatively affordable. $150 for 8 gig and only $30 more at $180 for 16 gig. So it's pretty cheap next to an iPod Touch or an iPhone or something like that, or a classic for $250. Bucks. But um, you can't get games on this. This is really only for music. Um, I do not believe it can watch videos, and it doesn't have a camera anymore like the last generation. So um, really, if you can afford it and you know the person likes to play games and music and pictures and videos on the internet, and really more than just music playing, the iPod Touch is where Apple really shines and really wants to sell some of these things. It starts at 229 with 8 gig. It's thin, um, only 8 gigabytes, but for most users that's enough. You got games, you have two cameras to take pictures, to FaceTime, um, you have the internet. And did I mention 250,000 apps or whatever it's up to now? It's incredible. Uh, Retina display, which is a very high resolution display. It's actually the same one found on the iPhone 4. It's incredibly thin, very well built, and a really, really, really cool uh, device. And it'd be a pretty awesome gift if you ask me. It'll record HD video and, and like I said, FaceTime with an iP with a iPad, maybe in April when we see the next one, an iPhone and of course another iPod Touch. And uh, you can, you can uh, quadruple the size there from 8 to 32 gig only uh, bumps you up about $70, and then 64 gigs about $400. So for somebody that has a crap load of media, lots of apps, lots of music, lots of photos, and lots of videos, 64 gig, you're probably going to want to do that, but that's a lot of money. 32 gig, uh, that's probably what I would buy at this point. I use about 22 to 25 gig in iTunes. This is where most people are going to want uh, what most people are going to want in the iPod lineup. And then the big one here they've had forever is the iPod Classic. 160 gigs. They did not update it, so it's still a hard drive. It's still pretty thick and pretty heavy. That's what she said. 200 hours of video, 40,000 songs. It's $250. But you know what? All it does is music, and it can do photos. And I think it'll do videos. But it's so it's a classic, guys. There's no apps. It's not iOS. It doesn't have a radio or anything. So the iPod Touch is what I would recommend for most users, but again, I don't know the person. So hope this helped with your holiday shopping. Um, leave, me some com leave me some comments down below. Um, did I miss anything? What do you think? you have any questions, comments, concern? Of course, leave those down there. little update on the website here. I'll go ahead and fire that browser back up. Tech Inform. I don't know why it says InMotion Hosting. We're no longer with InMotion Hosting. I'm trying to contact the webmaster, but he's... A, a, not answering his phone right now, I guess, so who knows what he's doing. Anyways, we should be back up soon. I know I said this before, but switching to a new server, it's a whole new host. It's a big pain in the butt. So hopefully we'll be up later this week.
Um, again, follow the videos on Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz for more information. And uh, for information out the wazoo, next Tuesday night, ustream.tv slash user slash tech inform us. I'll see you guys there or in tomorrow's video. Have a great night.